Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, my name is Review Ron, and today we're going to be doing another Deep Rock Galactic weapon fight with our bracket system here. Uh, debating which one of the secondary weapons is the best secondary weapon overall. For this I'm not going to be looking at overclocks, overclocks change the weapon a lot, so this is just assuming that you have modifications to them, no overclocks, and we're going to be going through these completely random. I uploaded all the images, but then just set it to fill in all the spaces, so... There won't be like the primaries where it's a class versus class weapon, like how we had the minigun versus the auto cannon right away. So starting out, we have the grenade launcher versus the double barrel. So the grenade launcher is a pretty solid all around option for engineer. Engineer has a reputation of having pretty good secondaries. Um, the grenade launcher does a lot of damage. It's a big AOE weapon. You can kill lots of enemies with this. You can hurt large enemies. You can hurt small enemies. You can build it a couple different ways, whether you want more AOE, whether you want more ammo, whether you want more direct uh, damage, or whether you want uh, like faster moving rounds for the grenade launcher. So it is pretty versatile in the way that you can build it. All of them function more or less the same, though. It's still a grenade launcher. It's still pretty straightforward. You load one shot in, you fire it. And then you load in another one if need be. Otherwise, you switch to whatever other weapon you're running. It's a really good weapon to be running Born Ready on, so you don't need to reload it because it does kind of have a slow reload time. Whereas the double barrel shotgun, you can also build in quite a few different ways. You can build it to do statuses like AoE, uh, Fear, or you could build it to do fire damage to the front of it. You can build more pellets, you can build more damage, you can build more shells for it. A lot of different builds that you can do for it, and the double barrel does work incredibly well both against crowds and against single targets. Both these weapons are kind of comparable where you're going to have more shots of the double barrel but they're going to be less less devastating potentially than the grenade launcher. Generally the double barrel is going to work better at close range because you're well you're probably going to hurt yourself with the grenade launcher if not just outright kill yourself with the grenade launcher at close range whereas the double barrel you won't be able to do that with. Against large enemies both these weapons do very well. The grenade launcher will do better at range. The double barrel will do better up close. Since I have to pick one over the other I think I'm going to give the slightest advantage to the double barrel shotgun being a pretty good weapon. So I'll put that one there. I also found I can do this so that we can actually see which one moved where. So I think the jerry-rigged boomstick is a little bit better than the grenade launcher, but not by much. The grenade launcher still has some really strong strengths, and it is one of the better secondary weapons. The double barrel, I would say, is just a little bit better. Up next, we have the EPC, or the Experimental Plasma Charger, for Driller versus the Zukov 17s. So the EPC has some interesting builds you can run with it. You can run it max ammo like you can most weapons. You can run it uh, max light attack damage, so you can just be firing it more like a pistol um, and do higher damage. That way you could build it max charge attack where it charges up to do a lot of damage and a lot of AoE damage. That can be really good against crowds or against uh, large enemies, or you can build it as a tool to where you can be uh, mining with it, which is a bit more difficult now since that was nerfed. Um, it's still useful for that, but it's not as like overpowered as it used to be. All of those are pretty good options. You can build the Zukovs in some similar ways too. You can build max ammo and max clip size if you want for these. Um, just be spraying them out. You can build max damage to where they can do a good amount of damage per second. Generally, the Zukovs are going to do better at close range than the EPC is. Um, at long range, though, neither one of these weapons is going to do particularly well. The Zukov submachine guns are not particularly accurate, and the EPC has a very slow moving projectile, so it can be hard to actually hit enemies because you have to lead the shot so much. So neither one is going to do well at long range. Um, assuming you're not just charging up the shot with the EPC to hit a bunch of smaller enemies like a bunch of uh, swarmers or something like that. It's actually kind of difficult to pick between these two because if I'm factoring how useful a tool the EPC is, it can be pretty useful in certain missions, but it's not always necessary. The Zukov submachine guns, I think I'm going to say are a slight bit better than the EPC. Again, this is a tough round. I would give it a little bit better as a weapon for the Zukovs because they, I believe, can out DPS the EPC in those close range uh, fights. At medium range, it can honestly go either way. And at long range, like I said, both these are kind of struggling, but I think the EPC would win there. All right, well, now that we're actually comparing the Scouts weapons, which is better, the double barrel uh, jury rigged boomstick or the dual Zukov submachine guns? Both of these are pretty good secondary weapons for Scout. 
Um, both of them give unique advantages. Both of them are close range. They're both really good against single targets as well as they can be pretty good against uh, groups. I would say that the double barrel is generally better against groups and potentially better against single targets depending on how close you're able to get to them. The Zukovs are pretty good against everything um, so long as they're within your range. Now, once again, you can build these in a couple different ways. You could build the Zukovs to be doing more damage, have bigger magazines. You could build the double barrel to where it could do uh, status effects, things like the phosphorus rounds, things like the fear the boomstick. There's a lot of really good choices there. And I think in this case, I would give the slight advantage to the boomstick. Oh, I guess I can only pick these once. Dang it. I can only pick my things once, so I guess the last one's going to have to move over there. Well, let's move on to the other bracket. We have the pistol from Driller or the revolver from Gunner. Now, the pistol from Driller, you get more ammunition. You can shoot it faster. Um, you can shoot it pretty accurately if you're spam firing it. There's a few ways to build it, but honestly, there's not too many different ways that you build it. You can build it with faster reload speed, larger magazines, um, a little bit higher damage. It's a very good weapon for Driller because it gives you the most consistent long range capability where Driller really doesn't have that. Now the revolver easily wins in terms of damage and in terms of accuracy. You can uh, shot for shot hit your shots easier with the uh, revolver as well as the revolver is going to hit much harder. The revolver can also do a massive amount more damage if you build it for damage. You can build ammunition for it and it's still a pretty good secondary. It does well. You could also mix your ammunition with your damage uh, perks and have a pretty uh, solid all-around build for the revolver. For this one, I think I'm going to give it to the revolver. The revolver is just pretty devastating compared to the regular pistol. The regular pistol is a very good secondary for driller, but it honestly wouldn't be anything super impressive for somebody like the gunner, whereas the revolver, if you gave that to driller, would be incredible. So I think I would pick the revolver in this case. And then we have the breech cutter versus the uh, burst pistol. So the burst pistol has some advantages. You can build it to either be very accurate and low recoil. Um, you can build it so it has longer bursts of six round burst rather than three round burst. Uh, and you can also build damage with that build so you can do a lot of DPS at close range. You can use it out to decent ranges. Not necessarily the furthest range, but you can use it to pretty good ranges. You can use it at much longer effective range than the Breach Cutter is. However, with the Breach Cutter, you get a real big advantage in terms of damage. Um, you just completely shred through crowds or through heavy enemies. You do have a slow reload speed, especially compared to the Burst Pistol that has a very fast reload speed. You can build the Breach Cutter a couple different ways, where you could either go with like more ammunition, you could uh, go with... Uh, different effects that your line might have like you could have the triple line which I probably consider the best uh, tier 5 you could go with added effects like burning over time or dealing damage over time with it um, it works very well against single targets and it can work well against crowds it is limited by range though um, it has somewhat of a slow startup unless you're taking the um, I think it's a tier 2 or a tier 3 perk that allows you to just pretty much instantly fire the beam uh, which is another really good perk for, or which is a really good uh, modification for it. Now that limited range is usually not that noticeable because you're likely not firing at anything at long range with the breech cutter. This is a close to medium range weapon pretty much only. Anything at long range is just too inconsistent to hit with because it has a slow movement speed similar to how the EPC did. For this one, I think I'm going to give the edge to the breech cutter. The breech cutter just does so much damage and can just tear through hordes of enemies as well as single targets that it's really crazy so breach cutter wins this round and then on this side we have the revolver versus the breach cutter both of these are very good secondaries and usually considered some of the best secondaries the revolver is highly accurate it has high damage you can reload it fairly quickly it has uh, good modifications you can pick going with either ammo or damage or both um, going with status effects like uh, adding poison to your bullets always great Whereas the Breach Cutter has really high damage, completely can destroy crowds, can completely rip through armor. 
It's very good at taking down single targets. It's very good at taking down uh, hordes of enemies. Both of them have their own unique strengths. Now, in terms of long range, the revolver is easily going to beat the breach cutter because you can actually hit your shots effectively. The revolver bolts move way faster than the breach cutter does. The revolver can also reload much faster than the breach cutter can. Neither one of these weapons particularly has a ton of ammo, but they usually don't go through it all that fast, assuming you're not running overclocks. And again, we're not going to be talking about that right now. So that's not a big deal. Both of these, I could see people picking one or the other because both of them are incredibly strong and for different roles, they are very powerful. I think in this case, I'm going to give it to the breach cutter over the revolver by a little bit. Oh, and the breach cutter disappeared. And the breach cutter disappeared again. Hang on, let me try restarting this. All right, now for whatever reason, the Zukovs disappeared. I don't know why that is, but that's okay. Zukov's made it to here for anybody wondering. We have our final battle, which is between the double barrel boomstick and the breach cutter. Both these weapons are kind of similar. Both of them are very good at close to medium range, and both of them are pretty bad at long range. Um, it's very difficult to hit shots at long range with the double barrel. Usually, sometimes you get some really lucky spreads that just keep all your pellets together, whereas the breach cutter is always going to be moving slow, so it's not really all that consistent. The breach cutter is going to generally do more damage than the double barrel, both to crowds and to um, single targets, because it can just rip right through armor, whereas the double barrel can do a lot of damage to armored enemies, but not going to do as much. The double barrel does have more ammunition as well as it is a faster reloading weapon than the breach cutter. These are very good secondary weapons. I think I would probably pick the breach cutter over the double barrel though. The breach cutter does so much damage and so effectively at that close to medium range uh, that it's really insane as to how many enemies you can kill with it. I think this is where I would put all of the weapons head to head against one another with the breach cutter coming out on top. Most of these weapons are really good though and it's actually kind of hard to pick between some of these. Thank you guys so very much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any other ideas for bracket lists feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I'll probably be doing overclocks at some point versus one another and I will probably also be doing um, other games like Killing Floor, maybe Dead by Daylight and stuff in these bracket fights and just seeing who would win. So hopefully you guys are enjoying them. They are a lot of fun to make and they're a bit different. And if you guys are enjoying them, be sure that you get subscribed. That way you get notifications whenever I post any of these videos. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you can. There is links down in the description to a membership program for YouTube where you can support the channel that way, as well as get some extra rewards like new emotes and new badges. You can also go over to my Patreon where you can get early access to some of these videos. Or you could go over to my merch store and get new merch. There is some really cool stuff over there. Thanks everybody who does that. And very special thanks to all the supporters. Um, probably above my head right now. You guys are awesome. I will see all of you guys next time. Till then, stay cool and bye.